MYOB setup closing down after you've set up your MYOB accounting data file. I'm going to click the X top right hand corner and notice that this screen comes up. You may produce a session report before quitting. If you decide that you want a session report, this is a paper copy of every transaction that you've entered, then click on session report and you'll be taken to the print screen. I don't want to at this stage, so I'll simply quick I'll simply click on quit no report. So this is just to show you even though it prompts you for a session report, you don't need to print one. So I'll click quit. Now, this is another option in our preferences that we ask to have turned on. And this option is this company file has never been backed up. If this file becomes damaged, etc, etc, etc. It's very important to back up your data file. So, I'm going to click yes. There's several choices that you get when backing up and I'm going to choose the most comprehensive. I'm going to say back up all the data and check the company file for errors just to be absolutely certain and then I click continue. It's just checked for errors and it didn't find any so I say OK to that. The next step is where do you back up your file to? Now if you simply take the option they give you here it's the wrong option because it's going to save it onto your hard disk. What you should be doing is taking a copy externally off-site away from your computer so if something happens to your computer your MYOB file isn't in danger. So I'm going to grab a floppy disk I'm going to put it in my computer and then I'm going to click three and a half floppy A. Now the file name that's given is MYOB and then today's date reversed. 08 for August and 09 for the date and that's because it sorts better. Now you can edit that and you can call it whatever you want. So I've called it one to one services MYOB and the date including the year reversed. Notice that it will be a zip file. So then I simply click save. Information from our MYOB data file is about to be zipped they're asking us to confirm that the disk is in the drive and ready to go so I click OK all the information is zipped and stored on our floppy disk which we can then take off-site now a floppy disk takes a while to save files so depending on the the size of your data file this may take a short time it might take a long time I'm actually trying to stall to make sure that you see the screen that appears when it's finished but it looks like it's going to take a little bit longer than we thought. So we'll cover that in the next video.